okay hello so we we'll look into the yes, uh, one, one uh, uh, this one uh, how did you uh, look into the classes and okay now we we'll look into the uh, sparkle query uh, that is the sparkle is the language uh, we used to query the stardust data okay so uh, whatever the uh, here uh, you can uh, click on the place icon where uh, a new notebook will be open uh, here you can write the sparkle queries and you can run okay so for example uh, uh, the wherever we are uh, uh, on whichever database we are uh, working we want to use that should be highlighted here on the this in this uh, um, in, in this place okay so you have to select the database and then you can write the uh, query so for example uh, uh, we just uh, will write a uh, select uh, okay so whatever the whatever uh, selector star from okay and uh, you can write uh, the uh, it, it is like a sql okay uh, queries we, you write and uh, here you have to provide uh, the uh, subject what is the subject and uh, what is the predicate and what is the object okay this again uh, the query also must be in this format so whatever the uh, the question mark indicate it is a variable okay question mark indicate it's a variable so this is the variable uh, subject for subject and this is the variable for predicate and this is the variable for object okay so if i want to select for example i'll uh, okay so this is a sample example where we are trying to retrieve the uh, lifetime okay and we are trying to retrieve the lifetime of of the uh any any, any uh, entity any instance okay uh, you can forget about this but uh, uh, see uh, this is how we write this sparkle query select to start okay and then followed by what uh, the query actual query so like i said uh, there should be there will be a subject and uh, a predicate which is like uh, um, um, prefix and not prefix it's the rdf type okay. right so it is a yeah the rdf type right. 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 okay and this is the object okay so we are trying to uh, this what what does it mean and mean means uh, i am i am uh, getting all the switches okay so i am getting all the switches and storing in this variable called switches okay this is uh, this line of code does the thing i am i am trying to extract all the switches a, a switch means uh, whatever uh, you have this it will be uh, it will extract all those uh, instances and it will save into this switches okay and then uh, followed by okay uh, the same uh, and whichever is having the provide warranty is a predicate right so it is a predicate uh, you can uh, imagine that uh, the uh, nodes subject and object are nodes subject and objects are nodes and this is the edge whatever you write in between predicate is a edge so for this all the switches i am trying to get the warranties i am trying to get all the warranty consent to this uh, switches okay so now the switches are stored in this variable and the warranties are stored in this variable so in the warranties uh, whichever is starting with lifetime okay the i means ignore case so whichever is uh, having the lifetime uh, we are going to filter that we are filtering that and we are extracting the data so this is the uh, uh, meaning of the sparkle sparkle query okay so oh. this is one thing yeah. uh, before that let's try to uh, on the stardust demo uh, we'll try to extract some information so select the database you have to select the database on which you are working so it is start as underscore demo uh, select okay start 
so i want to select all the subjects and uh, all the predicates and all the objects so right uh, select and then uh, run select so you can see the name uh, subject subj is coming from here this is a variable name and the pred is coming from here this is again a variable name and uh, obj is coming from here it's again a variable name so whatever the variable names you give here so that will be uh, shown here as you are as we are selecting all we are able to see all the variables here okay so uh, this whatever the conditions whatever the uh, triples uh, which okay which are satisfying this condition you can see here okay indirectly we are retrieving all the triples right so we are not filtering anything so we are we are retrieving all all so you can see ap560 is a type of uh, access point ap510 is a type of access point and access point is a class and so on uh, for example, if you want to bring only this access point, okay, uh, let us try to get only this access point. Now, in that case, instead of object, you have to give the value access point, okay. So, you just remove this and then give uh, access point here, access point, okay. So, ideally, uh, this, this, uh, this, this data we have to get, I mean, this. This data we have to get, and if anything else is there down, that we will get. But ideally, we need we will be seeing AP five six zero and AP five one zero. Yeah, you can see here now, right? So subject predicate. So AP five six zero is a access point, and AP five one zero is also a access point. So there are only two variables. We are able to see only two columns here. Okay, so if you remove this and then go back to the same uh, object and then run this. Uh, this, uh, to visualize, you can select all this like this and then visualize uh, option will be there. If you click on this, you can see the complete visualization, the graph. Okay, so uh, has, has name is a property uh, and uh, has acoustic noise is a property, has humidity is a property and so on. And they are type of, uh, uh, the range is string, their uh, data type is string. Okay, that is one thing. And another thing is uh, here you can see these, uh, how they are connected. So the, the access point, uh, that is AP560 is a access point and the AP510 is also a access point. The arrow mark indicates the direction. Okay, AP560. Uh, so here in start, Fine. sorry to interrupt, sir. Here in uh, node as you, node, uh, relations also get stored, I mean the properties. The predicates also get stored in a node? No, predicates are the uh, uh, edges, right? Ideally. These are the predicates. Yeah, ideally it should be adjusted. Right? Then I has property is a predicate, right? Has property is a has account noise, has name. Yeah, it's a predicate, correct. So it is getting stored in a node. No, this is the data structure. This is the data structure, right? That's why we are you are able to see as a node. But otherwise, when you look into any triple, uh, the triple that we have seen here, right? Or uh, in a triple, has name is a predicate, right? Exactly. Yeah. So basically, uh, I mean, star dog is storing in a, a, st a star dog stores uh, predicates in a node. I mean, usually in Arango, we see it, it gets stored as an edge. The relation is no. uh, stored in, it, in an edge. No, no, no. The query that we have written is a simple query. You are not extracting the data from the instances, right? Uh, okay. when you are seeing that in the data structure, it is a data structure, right? That's why you are able to see as a node here, but ideally it's not a node. Okay. 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 When, when you link AP560 and the, the other name, it will be a predicate that, uh, if you see that graph. Oh, where, will, where can see that, sir? 
that you have to write the uh, corresponding sparkle query right if you want to okay acha uh, okay so this uh, graph is for the Complete. current uh, sparkle query which we have wrote yeah if you write to write ap560 and uh, corresponding uh, values so starting with ap560 as a node whatever it is uh, linked to okay the predicate the edge of whatever okay. that we have in the object if you write uh, execute this kind of query then you see different uh, data this kind of data you see uh, uh, yeah one uh, more doubt sir uh, so we created a uh, we store a data we store a, we store data in star dog right so there should be a graph which should be uh, generated when we store it for the first time uh, i mean so this is uh, with respect to a particular query ha huh. right i mean uh, in when we store also there should be a, there, there will be a graph generated or it's only with respect to a query that is uh, a graph will be generated yeah if you run a query corresponding to that you will you can generate the graph and yeah that, okay so we, we don't have a graph when we store when we store a data when we store a triples data we can't yeah. visualize visualize the graph i think so yeah mm-hmm. to visualize definitely how to write the queries and there are different queries uh, which uh, which will generate the uh, uh, the graphs also which will create the graphs and which will extract the graphs so you have to go through a different queries um, that will generate the okay, because basically in arango when we store uh, when, when we store the data right we get a graph yeah this then, one set i mean okay okay you have to run this kind of query to generate the graphs that the graph okay. is generated like this so here you can see uh, highest length is a property uh, predicate right correct song, predicate song correct. highest length uh, double okay i mean uh, any song given any song has some length okay like that okay okay and the band sings a song so you can take any band they will sing uh, a song, a song. So yeah. okay so this kind of queries you have to write to generate this kind of uh, graph yes. okay okay so when we store a data directly we don't get a graph we have to write a query to get the graph ha huh. that is the conclusion right? yeah based on the query uh, you can generate the graph okay okay sir right so yeah so that's how uh, that you are going to write the queries here and okay. uh, the same thing okay there is nothing much logic uh, here uh, so you just have to provide uh, uh, what information you know and what you want so this is known information i mean you want to provide all the internet ports uh, the internet ports may come from any subject and uh, any number of ports can be there and so on right yes yeah so you can filter here or uh, whatever the information you want but ideally uh, when you give star all the variables like this will be displayed uh, but if you want only the products uh, probably you can give only the products here okay so you can give only the products here so the products will be uh, only products will be displayed and it will be returned okay okay Yes. I mean, uh, so did you uh, write a query in such a way we get the graph? I'm just asking. What is that? Did you, did you write a construct query where we get the graph where the relation is defined in a, on an edge? Um, I think I have written. I I I have to look into that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so there are many uh, queries yeah. in the uh, here. If you go to tutorial, okay, so all these queries are uh, actually uh, yeah. yeah retrieved ex- explained from here. If you go to this tutorial here, you can find uh, all the uh, basic queries which are written here. Okay, uh, you can even run yes. directly here, and you can see the data also, uh, and you can uh, go through the query explanation here. What it does each line. Understand? So album, artist, okay, artist yes, and date, 
and so on. So there are many uh, queries like this. Uh, if you go through these queries, you will better understand that. Okay. Uh, so uh, one, I mean, uh, one more dot. Uh, sir, so we uh, basically, I gave you an Excel file, right? So from that, you have actually generated this TTL file, huh. isn't it? Uh, yeah, so RDF XML. No, you have you shared the RDF XML file and I imported. So we, we can create the database here, right? Like we earlier we created a database. No, in the first place, first place, first time when you were uh, working on a startup, I gave you a uh, Excel file. Ha ha ha! No, that Excel file we have to. That, that's where the manually I have created all the uh, schema and uh, triples. Okay. So that was manually created. I mean, we didn't uh, try to automate that part, right? This schema and this triple, so we, uh, I have manually created, but later we automated this one. The automated part is there. Yeah. Later we automated okay. that. If I, if I give that Excel file, I'll get this type of data, is what I'm trying to do. No, you take that Excel file and run a Python script. A Python, uh, file will be, TTL file will exactly. be generated. You take that TTL file and upload here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Any other question? So these are all the options that uh -huh. about databases and about uh, uh, workspace and the data exploration. Data exploration. Yeah. These yeah. Three, these three I have gone through. Probably you can uh, go through this all. Uh, this. Uh, the models. Uh, so there are different models, but I haven't gone through this. Uh, and then there are the virtual graphs also, uh, which needs to be explored. Right? Okay. So most of the time... Yeah, uh, virtual uh, graphs and models. Yeah, virtual graphs and models are not explored. Probably if you uh, if you have time, you can go through that. But the data exploration workspace and these uh, databases uh, are, uh, I think, enough. Okay, I mean, uh, yes, sir. Uh, uh, the client part, right? From the Python side, uh, huh. we have uh, we we have also explored that part as well, I guess. Yeah, yeah. How to how to use we the... we, we have a Python wrapper, right? For Stardog as well for SparkQL. Sparkle, it is there. So and, we have used that uh, yeah, okay. to uh, to insert the data into Stardog database and then uh, retrieve the data from Stardog database and so on, yeah. yeah okay, yeah. so I mean, those files, uh, I, I have, so you have, I have not seen on the Fresco docs. I have seen the, this data which you are showing me on Fresco doc, but that is, the, that entire demo part which you all did, right, for using.